Ladies and gentlemen, hello, my name is Austin from awfulmedia.com, and welcome back. We're going to continue the WordPress theme. Uh, we worked on the sidebar last time a bit. We have some widgets that we can bring in now, and if we want to do that, we can go ahead and do that. But I think what we should do is style this a bit, and if you notice down here, I'm kind of following the same style that I got on awfulmedia.com slash demos. Shameless plug over here, slash awfulmedia version 2 right so I kind of have the same style that I have on these which these are just kind of placeholders I won't be going with this in the uh, in the end but we'll do that for this too just kind of a placeholder that looks decent so to do that we'll say aside UL let's just target the LI and the anchor tag within an LI, right? We'll make it a display block padding, 10 pixels for now. Um, let's keep it like that for now. If we go to here and refresh, okay, yeah, looks good, kind of right. Then we'll add a padding to the LI, so a side LI. And I gotta say, I've been I've done three videos in a row now, just like one right after another, and it's much more productive me doing it this way because I don't lose my train of thought I kind of keep it going and I have the idea that I'm I, I kind of advance through as we go right I don't have to like stop and then when I get back well what we're we doing last time so I will be doing it this this way more often if this works for you guys and the cool thing is is I'm not you know this is planned out so it kind of helps me to think and remember what I thought about I'm just stopping to waste time sorry We'll add a border of one pixel solid, EEE, -E -E, which is kind of a, I don't know, like an off white color. And we'll add on the border bottom, we've done this before, put none. The reason we do that is for the last one. Because if we have a border on the bottom of all of these and a border on the top, then they will stack and have a two pixel border. And we don't want that. And then we'll target the UL border bottom one pixel solid EE. I know I said about me doing styling too much in videos, but it's kind of really a lot of the the theme process that we have left. There's not all that much when it comes to just raw PHP stuff, because we have most of the functionality set up. We just have to make the pages that use it. So we have that. I think I want to change the styles of the anchor tag. So we'll say color. 40, 40, 40. I like that color apparently. Uh, text decoration none. There we go. And now we can do what I did on the demo for version 2 of Alpha Media, which is on hover. On hover of this. If you're used to the old school CSS, you may be used to. Uh, if you want to define a hover tag, you have to define, you know, visited, uh, active, and the normal state, all that stuff. Uh, that's not really necessary anymore because you can define a hover element, a hover state for any element, really, in modern browsers. So you don't have to kind of follow that procedure anymore. So the hover will change the background of the anchor tag to... Um, wow, I don't even know. For now, we'll do EEE. -E. <laughs> I can't think of any other colors right now. And right here, we'll set up a transition using CSS. Okay, so we'll say WebKit transition because we're using Google Chrome. I don't even know if the, I don't even know what the state of the prefixes are at the moment, what browsers still require them. I'm 99% sure Google Chrome does not, but uh, I know other browsers are taking up the WebKit, en uh, the WebKit engine, so they, you know, I don't know what version they're on and stuff. I don't know how it works uh, in the in the engine parts, but we'll be using the prefixes for this video, at least. So uh, we'll target all of these. Just guess we're going to change the color of the text or the padding on hover, whatever. We can say all of the elements can transition. Then we'll set it to 0.2 seconds and we'll set it to an ease. You see that that transition there? And that's good. We'll take this. Copy that, we'll paste it a few times. Again, Firefox may not need it. Opera, did they take up the WebKit engine? 
sometime earlier this year? I believe they did. I need to look into that. I don't really know. Let's kind of line these up. Okay, so we kind of, that's, that's pretty much all the work I put into the sidebar over here, right? Uh, not that impressive, but again, it's just for now. Oh, I have a question. Do you like the idea of the full width video on this? It resizes with the browser, which is fine, but it'll be 100% width of the, the container. Is that a good idea? I kind of followed uh, Chris Coyer's idea on his website. If you like that, um, let me know. If you don't, if you think it's kind of silly, think it should just be you know in the column itself, let me know. I need some input of some stuff, so I'm just going to ask you guys right now without worrying too much about it. Let's drag in another widget here. Uh, let's drag in a... Hmm... Rusa... I don't know... Archives. I don't know what that is by default. Okay, yeah. So, that looks okay for now. If we want to make a custom widget sometime, we may get to that in this series, and then we'll bring in like featured games or uh, top games based on views if we want to do that using the meta values. But uh, thank you for watching. Next time we will uh, work on the comment section and we'll get that looking good. We'll be using the default WordPress comments like I mentioned in the last video. So if you don't like those, again, tons of plugins to pick from. Thank you for watching. My name is Austin. Check out uh, awfulmedia.com. Check out my Twitter at Awful Media and check out the Facebook page facebook.com slash awful media look forward to the next video thank you for watching and i will see you next time